Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve compound inequalities. We'll go through four examples. Two examples of compound inequalities involving or, and two examples of compound inequalities involving and. We will start with or and then move on to and. Let's jump into number one where we have 6y is less than 30 or 4y plus 10 is greater than 54. Now when we solve a compound inequality involving or, all we need to do is solve each inequality separately. So we need to solve 6y is less than 30. Then we need to solve 4y plus 10 is greater than 54. Let's start with 6y is less than 30. We need to isolate that variable of y. y is being multiplied by 6, so we need the inverse operation of multiplication. That's division. So let's divide the left side by 6. Now remember, whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other. So we need to divide the right side by 6 as well. Now the sixes on the left side cancel each other out. So y is now isolated. y is less than, and then on the right, 30 divided by six gives us five. So we have y is less than five. Now let's solve four y plus 10 is greater than 54. We have multiplication and addition. So we need to undo the addition first. The inverse operation is subtraction. So let's subtract 10 from the left side and the right side as well. Now the 10s on the left cancel each other out. So we have 4y is greater than, and then on the right side, 54 minus 10 gives us 44. So we have 4y is greater than 44. So y is being multiplied by four. We need the inverse operation of multiplication. That's division. So divide the left side by four. We need to divide the right side by four as well. The fours on the left cancel each other out. Y is now isolated. We have y is greater than, and then on the right, 44 divided by four, gives us 11. So we have y is greater than 11. And now we're done solving our two inequalities. So let's rewrite this as a compound inequality involving or. So we have y is less than five or y is greater than 11. So again, we have y is less than five or y is greater than 11. Now remember, when it comes to compound inequalities involving or, they are true, we have a solution, if either inequality is true. That means that y can be anything less than five, or y can be anything greater than 11. Any number less than five or greater than 11 is a solution of this compound inequality. It will make the compound inequality true. Let's move on to number two. Now let's take a look at number two where we have x plus five is less than three or negative two x minus four is less than or equal to negative 18. So remember we need to solve these separately. So we have x plus five is less than three and then we need to solve negative two x minus four is less than or equal to negative 18. Let's start with x plus five is less than three. So we need to isolate x here and undo that addition. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So we need to subtract five from the left side. That means we need to subtract five from the right side as well. The fives on the left cancel each other out. X is now isolated, so we have X is less than, and then on the right side, 
3 minus 5 gives us negative 2. So we have x is less than negative 2. Now we need to solve negative 2x minus 4 is less than or equal to negative 18. We need to undo the subtraction first. The inverse operation of subtraction is addition, so we need to add 4 to the left side. That means we need to add 4 to the right side as well. So the 4s on the left cancel each other out. We have negative 2x is less than or equal to. And then on the right, negative 18 plus 4 gives us negative 14. So now we have negative 2x is less than or equal to negative 14. Let's undo that multiplication with the inverse operation, division. So we need to divide the left side by negative 2. That means we need to divide the right side by negative 2 as well. And remember, when we divide or multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative, the inequality symbol flips. So these negative 2s cancel each other out. We have x. The inequality symbol flips. So we have x is greater than or equal to. And then on the right side, negative 14 divided by negative 2 gives us 7, a positive 7. Remember, a negative divided by a negative equals a positive. So x is greater than or equal to 7. And now we are done solving our two inequalities. And we can rewrite everything as a compound inequality. So we have x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than or equal to 7. So again, x is less than negative 2, or x is greater than or equal to 7. Any number less than negative 2 or greater than or equal to 7 is a solution of this compound inequality. It will make it true. Let's move on to numbers 3 and 4, where we will have compound inequalities involving AND. Taking a look at number 3, which is an AND compound inequality, we have x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 11. In other words, x minus 6 has to be greater than or equal to 0 and x minus 6 has to be less than or equal to 11. Now when it comes to solving compound inequalities involving AND, we have two ways we can do it. We can solve each inequality separately or at the same time. I'll go through both ways and you can use what works best for you. Let's start by separating this into the two inequalities that make up the compound inequality. This way helps us break everything down and helps us understand a little more and it can help us stay a little more organized. So we have zero is less than or equal to x minus six, and x minus six is less than or equal to 11. So those are the two inequalities that we need to solve. Let's start with zero is less than or equal to x minus six. Well, we need to isolate x. We have x minus 6, so we need the inverse operation of subtraction. That's addition. So let's add 6 to the right side of the inequality. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So let's add 6 to the left side as well. Now the 6s on the right cancel each other out x is now isolated, so we have x is greater than or equal to, and then on the left side, 0 plus 6 gives us 6. So we end up with 6 is less than or equal to x if we are reading this from left to right. Or we can also say x is greater than or equal to 6. So thinking about it and reading it with the variable coming first and we can even write it out that way if it helps. So x is greater than or equal to six. 
Now we need to solve x minus 6 is less than or equal to 11. Let's isolate x. So we need to add 6 to the left side. That means we need to add 6 to the right side as well. Now the 6 is on the left, cancel each other out. x is now isolated. So x is less than or equal to, and then on the right, 11 plus 6 gives us 17. So we have x is less than or equal to 17. And now we're done solving our two inequalities. x has to be greater than or equal to 6, and x has to be less than or equal to 17. Now we can combine these and write this compound inequality without the word and. So we have x is greater than or equal to six and less than or equal to 17. So x has to be greater than or equal to six and x has to be less than or equal to 17. x has to be both x has to satisfy both. Remember, a solution of a compound inequality involving and is any number that makes both inequalities true. It has to work for both. Now let's solve this a second way. And for this, let's rewrite it over here. So we have x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 11. Now here, we're going to solve both inequalities at the same time and solve from the compound inequality written like this. We're not going to separate it with the word and. So let's isolate the variable. We're subtracting six. So we need to undo that with the inverse operation, addition. Let's add six here in the middle. That means we need to add six over here on the left and add six over here on the right. Now the sixes in the middle cancel each other out. So x is now isolated. We have x is greater than or equal to, on the left, zero plus six gives us six, and then x is less than or equal to, and then on the right we have 11 plus six is 17. So we end up with x is greater than or equal to 6 and less than or equal to 17. So we get the same thing here. And really, we solved it the same way. We just didn't separate it. Let's move on to number 4. Now let's take a look at number 4. And we're going to solve this the same way we did number 3. We're going to solve each inequality separately, then at the same time. Now for number four, we have 3m plus seven is greater than or equal to negative two and less than 13. Let's start by separating this into the two inequalities that make up the compound inequality and solving each of those. So we have negative two is less than or equal to 3m plus seven. And then we will solve 3m plus 7 is less than 13. Now, as far as negative 2 is less than or equal to 3m plus 7, we need to isolate m here. We have multiplication and addition. We need to undo the addition first using the inverse operation, subtraction. So let's subtract 7 from the right side. That means we need to subtract seven from the left side as well. Now the sevens on the right cancel each other out. So we have three M is greater than or equal to, and then on the left, negative two minus seven gives us negative nine. So we have negative nine is less than or equal to three M. So we need to undo that multiplication by using the inverse operation division. So divide the right side by three. That means we need to divide the left side by three as well. Now the threes on the right cancel each other out. M is now isolated. So we have M is greater than or equal to, and then on the left, negative nine divided by three 
gives us negative three. So we end up with negative three is less than or equal to M if we are reading this from left to right. Or we can also say that M is greater than or equal to negative three. So thinking about it and reading it with the variable coming first. Now we need to solve 3M plus seven is less than 13. So we need to undo that addition first by subtracting seven from the left side. And then we need to subtract seven from the right side as well. These sevens cancel each other out. So we have 3M is less than, and then on the right, 13 minus seven gives us six. So we have 3M is less than six. We need to undo the multiplication using division. So divide the left by three and then the right by three. The threes on the left cancel each other out. So M is now isolated. M is less than, and then on the right, six divided by three is two. So we end up with M is less than two. So M has to be greater than or equal to negative three and M has to be less than two. And now we can combine these and write this compound inequality without and. So we have M is greater than or equal to negative three and less than two. So M has to be greater than or equal to negative three and M has to be less than two. Now let's solve this the other way and we will solve them at the same time without separating the compound inequality. So let me rewrite it over here. So now we need to isolate that variable of M. Again, we have multiplication and addition here. So we need to undo the addition first. So let's subtract seven from the middle. That means we need to subtract seven from the left and the right as well. Now the sevens in the middle cancel each other out. So we just have three M. And then as far as the left, negative two minus seven gives us negative nine. And then on the right, 13 minus seven gives us six. So now we have three M is greater than or equal to negative nine and less than six. So we need to undo that multiplication using the inverse operation division. So divide by three here, and then we need to divide the left by three and the right by three. These threes cancel each other out. M is now isolated. On the left, negative nine divided by three gives us negative three. And then on the right, six divided by three gives us two. So we end up with M is greater than or equal to negative three and less than two. So we can see that we get the same thing that way as well. So there you have it. There's how to solve compound inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.